1965, a critical year in the civil rights movement, Alabama law enforcement officers attacked marchers trying to walk from Selma to Montgomery demonstrating for voting rights. That day came to be known as Bloody Sunday. In response, religious leaders from across the nation traveled to Selma in support of the marchers. 54 St. Louis area priests, ministers, rabbis, lay people, and nuns answered the call including Sister Antona Ebo. Sister Ebo, who played a key role at a turning point in the movement, died November 11th at the age of 93. She shared her memories in a 2006 Living St. Louis interview. We complain about so many things, but we don't really take a stance that says, I'm, I'm willing to go the whole mile for this. And I knew it was important for me as a black woman, for, for the rest of my people to have that right to, to um, be self-determining. Sister Ebo speaking out put Selma in the international spotlight and helped pave the way for the march organized by Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. to proceed to the state capitol. Five months later, President Johnson signed into law the Voting Rights Act. From the streets of Selma to the streets of Ferguson, Sister Ebo will be remembered as a leader for social justice.